We have just arrived at the Leaderfoot viewpoint of a big viaduct. Welcome to Leaderfoot. Explore, escape, enjoy. This is the Leader Water and it joins the River Tweed at Leaderfoot, just beyond the modern road bridge. Oh, there's lots of paths and networks here. Well, there really is so much to see. Melrose Abbey, which we couldn't get into because you had to pick online. The Melrose Cross, Square High Street. Abbott's Ford House. Cod Shields. Look, Bodwin or Bowden Moor Reservoir, the Eildon Hills. Yeah, we we'll drove past that there now. Dryburg Abbey, which we want to see. The Temple of Muses. The Wallace Statue. Have to see that. The Trimontium Stone. Want to see that. The Eildon Hills from Scott's View, we've seen that. Small ho small home tower, which we haven't seen, and the Erston Memorial, or War Memorial and Square. Haven't seen that. So we are here, and we're looking at the Leaderfoot uh, viewpoint. The Trimontium, the Roman fort, is just a long way bit, so maybe we'll see that, I don't know. Uh, but I want another one. Down. Well, all right, okay. I don't know. Well, this is what we've got, a massive big viaduct over the leader. Another bridge here. Look at this bridge. Wow. Well, that's pretty, pretty class. Is this a fad or a, 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 was it a railway went over the top of this or still does? I just don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, the viaduct. The viaduct. The dry grange or more commonly later foot viaduct was built between 1862 in 1865 for the Ber Berwickshire Railway. The magnificent, this, magnificent, this magnificent structure, engineered by Jop, Wiley and Petey, carried a single track railway across the Tweed. Charles Jop was the chief engineer. Built from rustic re uh, faced red sandstone and brick, the viaduct is over 900 feet long and supports a single track bed on 18 slender a tall slender stone piers forming 19 semicircle arches. Each arch spans 43 feet and the highest point of the viaduct is 126 feet above the river. The structure which has no public access is a category A listed by Historic uh, Environmental Environment Scotland classing it as a special architectural or historic interest of and there's the way they built it, and there it is. And this um, 
crossing was a Roman crossing, they believe. So that's all the notice board. The, the, uh huh. The uh, dry stone, dry grange old bridge carried the A. 68 Trunk Road until 1974. Right, so this is what you're looking at. Now there's carved inscription here. The river runs from rest to east, roads south to north, from bank to bank, three bridges span, three centuries worth. I just can't read that just very well, sorry, but you might be able to. difficult to read that carving and this is where we are and there's the old railway viaduct over the leader and this is the old A68 I think it is over the Leader River as well. And this is the new span. I think that was built in the uh, mid 70s. And oh, it's some structure as well. Uh, they got that into possession. I don't know. That's amazing. So it flows into the tweed? Yes, it joins the tweed. Somewhere around here. Hmm? I heard somebody throwing stones. There's a guy down there. Is this? It's an amazing structure, isn't it? Debris has gathered up there. Shows you how uh, the river has fallen in this uh, very, very hot weather. And this is us underneath 
the, the new bridge. This is amazing. And there's big noises. And there's an echo. Wow. I think actually this is the Tweed. The leader meets it further on up.